Hey everybody, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, when we are finally able to expand. Now there's one thing, now that I think about it, I don't need my Chancellor here. The reason is, as a Pagan, there's some places I can just declare war on. So we're going to take the Chancellor, and we're going to move him here to try and get a claim on Strymion. In the meantime, just because we're Pagan, and we don't have to, we don't have to abide by the other rules, the convention of other places. Well, let's see how our military is doing, first of all. Well, it's alright, it's above a thousand. What's this guy's? About 600. And he has no allies. We're going to declare war on him. So we can do one of two things. The subjugation war. Pagans are allowed to subjugate other pagan rulers once in their lifetime. Or we can do a conquest of Hum. Pagans and nomads can conquer single border countries without specific reasons. So that's, yeah. I don't. Is that because we have a single border with them? Or does that just mean because they are one little territory by themselves? So we are going to declare the conquest of Hum. We're going to declare war on them. We're going to raise our military. Oh, a courtier has come forth inviting all knights to the realm to attend a grand tournament, the like of which is only seen once per reign. Uh, Chief Dongerson sucks at that, so he's going to be like, that's a foolish risk for glory. <laughs> Mostly because he just doesn't want to get hurt. <laughs> all right, let's send our troops out there to fight. Hell yeah! Oh, someone needs to be educated. My uh, Dracula's kid. We will. Well, Dongerson will teach her himself. Why not? Dracula's our brother. That's our niece. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! That's the fucking auto save. I hope you didn't get in the way of me trying to pause it. A daughter was born to Chief Dongerson and Sophia, that's his wife, called Reyna? No, that's okay. Because so I believe there's a river between these two. Pause, you fucking... <laughs> between Nish and Vita. Yeah, so we're going to go the long way around, just so they don't get the bonus defending across the river. They might take this place pretty quickly because it's still very weak after the um, last war. Either way, though, we should be able to win this. Where, where? Why isn't someone else helping? There we go. Dude, we're coming for you. Dongerson is often playing very daring games with other children. Oh, the son. Yeah, whatever, man. That's cool. Let him be daring and brave. What harm is there? Ooh, he's strong and brave. So he gets bonuses to martial and personal combat skill. Dongerson seems to have no fears at all. He's gained the brave trait. And the fight is on. We outnumber them. They do have one good commander in the center. They don't really have good commanders on the flanks, though. You can see the empty silhouette showing that. Ooh, we broke the right flank! That means we're going to get to flank their center. Spank their center. They like to be spanked. Well, we're going to break their left flank, too. Maya has trouble making friends. Really? Right now? I will help you along, Maya. There's a chance she'll get the honest or gregarious traits. Oh, she's become gregarious. That's a really good trait. You get bonuses to diplomacy, and people like you more. She's like, I can't make friends. I'm like, I'm in the middle of a war, kid. Victory. That's already got a war score up to 55%. We're going to try and finish off his army there. Victory again. Man, it's kind of nice being pagan. We do need some more troops, though. Because we have to have more troops than them to um, get the siege to really work. We don't have anyone else we can raise right now, do we? We could sit there and wait until the... Uh... Damn, we could wait until... We've raised enough troops. How long would we have to wait? Otherwise, what are our, what are our mercenary options? Oh man, that's a lot per month. Do we really want to spend that much money, though? 
But we're so close. So we can raise three more guys? How many more guys do we need? It's not a lot. Oh, we need like 50 more dudes. Uh oh. Our king just got involved in a war. King Vladimir the Unready's war to revoke Turkey. So apparently he tried to take that f from um, whoever holds it, the duke there. And the duke's like, no, and he ran, became independent. Can we declare war against this guy? Nope, because we have armies raised. Man, 67, that's enough. We could bring the army back, disband it, and then reform it, and we should have enough. Oops, that's the wrong place to go. We'll be back! Don't worry. This place here that we took recently, Prizren Castle, is going to take a long time for us to build up the garrison, the green line here. That's what they're busy doing right now. Well, technically, I could have, I could have uh, dissolved the army there. A noble in Kreezevi became suspicious after I asked a couple of brash questions, and I fear that he might have figured out that I'm trying to fabricate a claim to his title. Where? Oh, down here. Whatever. I don't care. He can live with it. Deal with it, bitch. Is that enough? What was it again? I don't know if that's enough or not. <laughs> Alright, you guys go there and then pick up that one dude. You know what? Actually, you go run back in your castle. He's like, I see people coming! The attempt to fabricate a claim on the title held by Count Zlola did not pass a notice. Rumors say they were so angry that he ordered to have me assassinated. Oh, no! Chief Dongerson is dead! Chief Dongerson, feast with the gods at age 32. He died under suspicious circumstances. Long live Dongerson. We're going to enter a regency period where his son, Chief Dongerson, uh, is in charge. Great. You have a new heir. If your character dies now, you will play as the light titties Dongerson. Here is our new um, regent, Alexei. He's been our chancellor for a long time. This Serdian army will stand down. What the fuck? Some army was going to stand down. Well, that was great all around. Uh, Chancellor, get the fuck out of there. Like, I don't care where you are. Just go, go to another country. <laughs> Trying to get a claim that the, the, the guy was like, no, and now I'm going to have Dongerson killed. Oh, and Dongerson was badass. Now Dongerson Jr. He is strong and brave. We just have to wait till he's old enough to take over. We do have a war in the meantime. Wait, did, which one did Dongerson get? Oh, Dongerson got both of them. Because he was the only male heir. Well, that worked out well. Not really, but... He's going to lose one of them, though, when he is there. Okay, M Maya, Maya, you need a guardian, whatever. And Dongerson, you need a guardian. Now, this one matters a lot. Because your dad can no longer do it because he got murdered by some dipshit. Zealous? Oh, no. What stats do you have? Wait, he's brave and strong. Strong is not going to change. Gregarious is a good one. Let's see if we can find someone who's cool that's Gregarious. Oh, this guy's got a bunch of good traits. So much so that he's not even a guy. It's a woman. It's your aunt. <laughs> She's the child of a concubine. She's kind, gregarious, charitable, diligent, and chaste. Well, we don't want chaste, but everything else is great. Alright, Army, how are you doing? I'm not too worried about the King's War up there to subjugate that place again. We are worried about our little war right here, though. Oh, man, we just smashed a flank. Come on, break that center. Oh, we did break their center. Victory!
victory! And now we do have enough troops to seize it. Siege it. Sweet! Man, that's what I love about CK2, and sometimes you're like, yay, and sometimes you're frustrated. Um, like, Dongerson was awesome. He was about to become the first prince in the family, and then he gets assassinated by a rival from down here. I don't even know which rival. I thought it was an old man. Oh, maybe, maybe it was their spy master or something? I don't know. Whatever. Oh, well, his little son will be the beneficiary of that all. That's crazy times. Do we have any good intrigue stuff we can do? I don't think so, no. I don't know if, um, I don't know if pagans can have feasts or not. I certainly like that it's easier for them to declare war on certain people. It's nice that we didn't have to get a Cassius Ballius cause of war there. Can't believe that, though. Chancellor's like, people might have found out I was trying to get the land down here for you. I kind of might have told them when I was drunk. Sorry. <laughs> My dad's dead because of that. Yeah, I said sorry. Get over it. Man, look at our war score. We are at 70%. The only negative is because the chief there is still... Com Controls hum, Chief Nicola. I don't even know who you are, Vanjin Minar? Yeah, you can... Well, we'll just take the auto suggestion on that. I don't really care. Silva? Oh, it's our cousin! Once again, I don't really care. We should take a look, though, and see what our vassals think of us. Two of our vassals don't like us. The Shaman, this guy doesn't. We want to make him like us so he'll pay taxes and shit. We will make you the master of... Of the bow. What's up now, bowmaster? We'll send you a gift. Yeah, now you love us. It's just like real life. You can buy your friends. <laughs> and the mayor of Dosia, which is, I believe, yep, right there in the newly held territory. Part of the reason these guys aren't going to like the kid is because he's not been in charge very long. And they don't like that there's a female heir. And, um,. Line, we're gonna grant you a non ordinary title. We'll give you Cup Bearer. He's like a little kid, he's like, Bring me my juice cup, <laughs> and we will send you a gift. And now you like us too. Everybody's happy, everything's fine and dandy. Why not? Oh, we have a chance at a weak claim on Yulk. Oh, we had a chance of that before. That's way out in the middle of nowhere. Never going to realistically be able to use that. So, little Chief Dongerson Jr. is like, That kid mocked me! I cannot be blamed for punching him in the face and giving him a nosebleed. I hate him so much! And he gained the trait Wrath. His martial goes up, his intrigue and diplomacy goes down. Oh, wait, but no! Uh, his aunt, who is teaching him... Is that who's teaching him? Is like rushing to action seems foolish. Yeah, I've gained the patient trait. Oh, he did. She corrected him. That's we, we found the right guardian for him. Then he's like, Dogger says, like, I kicked the shit out of him. And she's like, No. And like, look, he's got intrigue, diplomacy, stewardship, learning bonuses with patient. Who else needs a guardian? Delight titties does. Um, let's see if we can get that lady who's teaching. Yeah. She's, t she's teaching your brother, too. She'll teach you both. She seems really nice and cool. We're almost there. What, maybe another month and a half? And we should be able to take uh, this castle and hum. I don't know if I have to take any cities, but the city should fall very quickly. It's going to make us one of the more powerful people in Bavaria, Bulgaria. I don't even know where I live. They're going to bring me back to the wrong place if I get drunk. I'll be like, I don't remember this. Why are there so many delicious cream donuts? I'm going to go nuts for them. Literally. Oh, just one more. Hell yeah. I like being pagan. If Dan had lived longer, I might have had him convert to Orthodox, but... Victory and our war score is at 100%. 
So let us go talk to him. You can see too that the war score for the king um, up here in the war he's fighting is like he's taking territory. The king is winning that war. We're going to offer peace because we're going to enforce our demands because we won that war. Chief Dongerson of Sophia has usurped the title uh, City of Troxavit from N N N Nad and the title Temple of Peck from Gordana um, and the County of Hum. And we've won the war. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disband our unit. Is that still siege stuff there? <laughs> we're going to take a look at it. You can see by the little purple circle there that we own all of these. Right now the kid can only control two because I think his regent's an idiot. Either way, the Temple of Peck, we don't want to be in charge of that. So we're going to... We're just going to create a new vassal. We're going to let someone else be in charge of it. It's going to be this new guy. The Shaman Dragska, and he likes us. He likes us because we're like, hey, you want to be in charge of something? He's like, yeah, cool, thanks. He doesn't like the female heir either. And we're going to do the same thing with the city here. We're going to just grab it and... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Can I do that from here? Oh, I can! There we go. And we've made someone mayor. Let's find out who the mayor is. And the mayor is Fatty McGee. Oh, I mean, Bertalan. So we've got our number to 30, or 3 out of 2. We still have more territories than we're supposed to be able to control efficiently, but that's all right. Oh, and what's this? Oh, that's saying our thing's too big. Oh, am I right? It's too big. Somebody already holds the... Oh, no. I didn't think anybody held the title shit butts. This dickhead... The stickhead here, who controls Rama, um, controls the title Duchy of this place. We want that title from him. Can we usurp it? Oh, we can. Usurping this title would give you 50 prestige and cost us 191 gold. We're going to do that. High Chief Dongerson of Rashka has usurped the title Duchy of Rashka from Count Nicola the Just. What's up now, bitch? How you like me now? How you like it? We might declare war against him too in a moment. It means we can press, uh, press ducal claims. We can grant some special titles. I'm not really worried about that right now. What we need to do, though, is laws. Wait, these are our only choices? Gavelkind and Gavelkind? What the... What the butt is this? We we can't... We honestly can't choose something else? Oh, it's because we have a regent. Wait, I don't know if that affects why we just have Gavelkind. Maybe it's because we're pagan. I will have to look that up later. Let us look at this guy, though. He has 747 troops... We'll have more troops when our armies are all ready, but they are not all ready at the moment, unfortunately. But, but that's understandable. Understand a blow? He's like, blow me. You're too young. All right, everybody, that's where we're going to end this episode. Not bad. We are slowly, finally growing. It took forever. We have three territories now, Sophia, uh, Rashka, and Hum, and our kid is the Duke. Well, High Chief, not... That's the equivalent, I guess, of a Duke ranking. He is High Chief Dongerson of Rashka. Pretty freaking cool. I'll see you all next time, and hopefully we can expand some more.